In this tutorial, I'm going to replace a logic node with a JavaScript callback logic node that uses JavaScript to perform the same calculation as the node it replaces. The logic nodes rotate the cube when it is clicked. For this simple example, there is no point using script. But to access the full power of the blend for web API, you will need to use script. And mixing logic nodes and script has many advantages. The next part of the tutorial will show how to build the logic sequence. If you know how to add logic nodes, then click the link to jump ahead. Change Blender Render to Blend for Web. Click Set Recommended Options. Click the Scene Properties. Click Logic Editor. Click the Plus to add a new logic node tree. Drag to make the Timeline window bigger and change it to a Node Editor window. Click the Blend for Web Logic Nodes button. Click the Browse button and select the Blend for Web Logic Node tree and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Add Operations Variable Store and connect the nodes up. We could click New Variable and make a new variable and give it a meaningful name, but for speed I'm going to use the ready-made variable R1. Add Control Flow switch select and connect the nodes up. Click the object field and select the cube. Add operations math operation and connect them up. Change operand1 to the variable r1. Set operand2 to 15. Add Object, transform object, place the node and connect them up. Click on the object field and select the cube. Click variable for Z rotation so that it is set to the value stored in R1. Add a reroute node to the end of the logic sequence. Add layout reroute to loop back to the switch select node. What does the sequence do? Starting at the entry point, next 0 is stored in the variable R1. Next we wait for the event of a mouse click. If the mouse hits the cube we carry on with the sequence. If the mouse misses we need to loop back with a reroute to listen for the next click. This node takes the number stored in R1, adds 15 to it and stores the result back in R1. And this node sets the Z rotation of the cube to the value stored in R1. And then we loop back to wait for the next click. Clicking Fast Preview, when we click on the cube it rotates by 15 degrees. Now I'm going to replace the Math Operation node with a JavaScript Callback node that will perform the same calculation using JavaScript. Select the node and press X to delete it. Add Control flow JS callback, place the node and connect it up. The callback ID is linked to the name of a callback function that will be called when the node is activated. The parameter passed to the callback function will be the value stored in variable R1 and the result of the calculation carried out by the function will be stored back in R1. Now we have to write the JavaScript callback function and we can't do that from within Blender so I'm going to open Project Manager. 
click hide stock projects click create new project call the new project my js callback click create application starter files click create scene starter files scroll down and click create project click back to projects I'm going to right click on the edit link to open the text editor in a new browser tab you can also use the middle mouse button click on the link for the JavaScript file I also want to open the API reference in a separate browser tab. Going back to Blender, click the link for the SDK index. Click the link for the API reference and click the link for the logic nodes module. Going back to the text editor tab, copy and paste the last require module statement. We're going to need the logic nodes module. Copy again and paste. And abbreviate the name and line them up. The method that we're going to use from the logic nodes module is the append custom callback method. Right click, copy, and the method has to be called before the scene is loaded. Right click and paste. We have to put in the name of the module that the method comes from. mlogicn module logic nodes. I'm going to go back to Blender for the callback ID. Control and C and paste. And I'm going to make update zrot underscore CB the name of the callback function. The callback ID is a string and so it must be in quotes. And don't forget the semicolon at the end of the line. If you were making an app using script, then normally your code would go here. But because we are using logic nodes, the code goes in the callback function, which I'm going to put here. I'm going to jump ahead and put the code in and then go through it. The function appears to have two parameters, but because both are arrays, you can have as many input parameters and as many output parameters as you like. Going back to Blender, I can click the plus to add as many input parameters as I like. I now have an array of four. The first element in the array has an index of zero. The second has an index of one and so on. I only need one input parameter. The value stored in R1 is passed to the callback function. So the value from R1 is passed to the callback function. Var num creates a new variable num and the first element of the array which has the value from R1 is copied into it. This line takes the number stored in num, it adds 15 to it and stores the result back in num. And this line takes the number stored in num, which is r1 plus 15, and copies it into the first element of the array of output parameters. And going back into Blender, the first element of the output parameters is copied into R1. We can't run the JavaScript callback function from within Blender, so we have to go back to the Project Manager tab and click the link for the HTML file. And before we can do that, we have to overwrite the blend and the JSON starter files. 
to overwrite the blend starter file, go back to Blender and file save as. Go to the Blend for Web SDK folder, the Blender folder, the MyJS callback folder. Click on the file and click save as to overwrite it. Go back to Project Manager and click the re-export scene link to overwrite the JSON file. Click back to projects and then click the HTML file. On my system the app loads in Firefox web browser and when I click on the cube it rotates by 15 degrees. Going back to the text editor tab if I change 15 to 45 and click save and I reload the scene in Chrome browser press F5 now the cube will turn by 45 degrees. If the cube won't turn or the scene won't load I'll show you how to do basic debugging in a future tutorial. That's the end of this tutorial you can download the files created in the tutorial at my website, click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stick man. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.